Bonjour. I wonder what's coming up next. It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. See ya. Ah, uh, yes, the boy just you too, dog, yo. No, Emily Munt has not been right here. It's week now of the Lily Moon, and now man thinks that Emily Blunt has gone nuts since uh, both the uh, wire strike and the actor strike began. I mean, come on, how hard can it be uh, to actually get those strikes resolved, huh? I mean, seriously, huh? Mr. Ellie Cunny Muir. Ha! Welcome to week now of the Dumb Ellie Cunny Muir, Double Cross Office. Come on, kids, come on! Hey, boss, how are you? I'm doing all right, how about yourself? I'm doing fine. You know, I often uh, ask uh, people, you know, about uh, this following question. You know, uh, you know, when you think about a sunny day, what comes to mind and why? And every time I uh, ask uh, people that question, I always get laughed at. I see. Well, you can't get laughed at uh, here for asking uh, people that question because that, ironically enough, is uh, this week's uh, question for uh, the count of the week. Oh, I see. So was that a good segue? Yes, that was an excellent segue. Thank you very much. All right, you heard him. Go to the uh, community tab post and, you know, I come up uh, with a, a great response. All right, theme song uh, was composed by Dominic Mattis Piano, the Kirby Crew and the Cavalier, year 2004. They've made a bunch of things to this program and everything else. They are all really good. Our other Charles Wallet winners are Alex K. Stoonhub, William Beanham, Bob Corey, White and Squid, and Chris Part 2, Jazz Ratchet, and Clank, Junior Villa Real, and the trains of the DMV area. Okay, what's up, what's up, what's up? Here we go. What is a uh 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 what uh, uh, is a uh, 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 uh what is a uh what is a what is a what 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 she is trying to take a break from acting for a family. Yeah, good move. But here's the real reason. The SAG after a strike. There's no uh, real uh, punchline, uh, you know, for that joke, but you know what? We take what we can get uh, here on this uh, program. All right, now, wait. She has a major secret. She said that she would do the sequel to the Devil Wears Prada with Anne Hathaway in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, yeah. Wow. So much for a break, huh? Wow. Nice going, Hollywood. Just when she uh, tries to get out, you always reel her back in. You know, you do that with all the actors and actresses, huh? You keep pulling people back in. Every time they try to go out, you will back in. You always do that every single time. Ha! I can't be serious. MP, think that. Let's do this. It's time for another top eight list. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! Thanks a lot, boss. Nice category top eight words that people can use to describe Emily Blunt's career. Number eight, loopy. Number seven, strange. Number six, star. Number five, scary. Number four, freaky. Number three, ridiculous. Number two, hairy. And number one, 
Kyopi. Okay, this Abe List uh, segment has gotten extremely weird. Yeah, I know. But then again, this show is not like any other late night show. You're right about that. You're right about that. Boys, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, you know the drill. Hashtag week update. Hashtag Elmiro for late night. Hashtag Elmiro for adult summer. Hashtag Fred LeBron. Get those things to trend on social media, please. Get those things to trend. Why would I like to see subscribe? Bring the bell, share, and channel comment section down below. When we come back, Edward Scott, the world's finest, the world's first, the world's fire, and of course, the all important all the time. All this was more fun than humans are allowed to have after this. This is still week now update. And now here it is. Your final night. Hey, do you want to go out sometime? <laughs> Talk to the hand. Rude. No, uh, uh, shoot, that never works. When summer gets hot, you gotta think cool. So, think winter. At Empire, you can have your carpets tomorrow, but no monthly payments till next January. Right, Mrs. Bailey? Yes, it's January, dear. Oh. Oh, sorry. The price has started at $8.95 yard installed, and to make your summer even more fun, how about a cellular phone you can take anywhere? Only $99 with any order. 588-2300 Empire. I'm taking mine to the beach. The beach? Mr. Edward Scott and the boys. Hey, boss. Hey, Ed, how you feeling? I'm doing all right. Hey, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to do tonight, don't we? Yeah, we do. Let's get into it, huh? Oh, yes. Good point. And speaking of a lot to do, let's get into one of those things right now. The world runs. Boom. Listen, alright? This is the last week of the World of Animists, alright? I believe uh, you've already been told that. You know, but, you know, Melmo was wondering, you know, what does it mean when I say, you know, when late night TV breaks, we fix it? Well, I'll tell you. Late night TV has been totally horrible. You know, uh, up until uh, we came along. You know, now late night TV is going to get better. Well, Someday it will get better. In the meantime, we give you another installment of the World of Adamless. Alright, Diner Poe, everything is all set to go. Okay, Chef Tinky Winky, remember our job? Yeah, I know. I'm going to be doing the food and you'll be doing the ordering. Yes! And now, the Space Diner has been open. <laughs> yep. And the police officers are coming to do, um, breakfast. Oh, yeah, breakfast. Oh, mm. Oh, I better get situated. Hello, and welcome to the Space Diner. How can I help you? Oh, thank you. Um, you want, oh, you want the spicy chicken plank with ranch and a Powerade with fries. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Okay, I'll get that order for you. Oh, uh, Chef Chicken Winky, we got an order coming by. Okay, I am on it. 
You may absolutely take your seat, and we will be right over with you. Asha, ma, 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 ha. Huh. Nothing could ever go wrong. Get back here, you evil alien. Yeah, you are under arrest for shrinking things small. You'll never catch me. <laughs> Oh, you get back here! Oh, in here! Ba -ding -ba -ding -ba -ding -ba -ding -ba -ding. Aha! He's going to that diner! Well, that's where we're supposed to be! Ding -a ling -a ling Oh, another customer! Already? I was too busy making food! Hold right there, miss! Wait, what's going on, police? This bad alien is under arrest. What? For what? For making things small. Ow! What was that for? For making things small and becoming a villain. <gasps> is that a nice alien? Yeah, I do believe so. Oh, my! What do you have to say for yourself? Okay, I'm sorry, but I just can't control myself. Well, let's absolutely get rid of your powers. It's all safe and sound in this vacuum cleaner. Now... You better stop being evil! Okay, I will. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, should we arrest this bad alien? No! I mean, he just apologized, so... He can absolutely uh, be with her friend. Oh, well that's so sweet. Order up. Okay, here's your food. Ah, oh. <laughs> thank you. Can we share our food with you? Sure. <laughs> well, that's nice. Yeah. And what can I do for you, cops? Well, we would like to have ourselves some pancakes with uh, syrup and butter. Well, you are going to have the pancakes. I want to have waffles uh, with the uh, butter and the uh, bacon. And I'll have myself some eggs, too. Okay, great. We got another order. Okay, I'm absolutely going to do it. This has been your another installment of the World Roundness. Yes, indeed. Remember, this is a production of Casting Shoes in association with Naked Night. And remember, when late night TV breaks, we fix it. Brilliant work as usual. You know, recovering me for the Cavalier Lady. And now, I present to you another performance from the Multiverse Disability Choir.
was wonderful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a little talking time. Here we go. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, see, it's talking time, where he talks about of what he's going to talk about. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> Just last week, right, Emily Blunt said during the uh, Table for Two podcast, said that uh, she was going to take a break from acting, you know, to uh, take care of her kids. You know, she's going to take a break from acting so that she could take care of her kids. That's a good thing. You know, of course, with the uh, SAG AFTRA strike uh, picking up, you know, it's like uh, she doesn't really have much more choice. So, what can you do? What can you do? You know, and here's an interesting fact, all right? You know, that's an interesting fact, all right? You know what? You know, all of her projects, you know, from last year and the year before and things like that, were intense and time consuming. And it impacted her uh, kids and herself. Her husband, uh, John Krasinski, would have uh, said something too, but, you know, like, he was also working, so, I don't know. Now, a day after that uh, article came out, this is true, Emily Blunt said that she would, you know, uh, jump at the chance to do the sequel to uh, The Devil Wears Prada alongside Anne Hathaway. And it's very interesting for her to say that, considering the fact that, you know, Emily didn't always get along with uh, one of her co-stars. Who was uh, the one co-star in particular who uh, didn't really get along with, you know, Emily, you may ask? Well, it may shock you, but... That person who uh, Emily Blunt had a hard time getting along with was Meryl Streep. I know, Meryl Streep, the Academy Award winning actress who has been in Hollywood since, I don't know, late 70s or 80s, thank you, Vic. All right, just, wow. No words can further explain. No words could describe how insane that sounds. Huh? And you know what, folks? This is what I want you to do, okay? You know, because most of the time I read these articles and you would think, Ah, uh, he's just uh, reading uh, the articles and describing. No, 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 no. These articles are really, really shocking. All right? Interesting, but also uh, shocking and surprising. So what I want you folks to do when you're done watching this uh, show is to uh, click on the articles that I have provided in the description down below and actually read those articles. All right, because I'll tell you something, you'll be very surprised, you know, when you're done uh, reading those articles, okay? Well, folks, it's time to uh, wrap this thing up, and I must say that this has been a really great show. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the news. I'm Al Skis. Go all by four. It's crazy, it's really crazy, it's Nick and